the cooling tower on the makeup, it's blowing the fuse over in the panel. And we really need to get this figured out because the not controlling the level on this tower properly is putting all the stress on this one. Thankfully, there is equalization, so we've got a little bit of breathing room. But the system's struggling because we need this power online. Now, so far, what we've deduced down is there's some kind of wiring things going on and we're trying to determine if there's a short uh, technician's been working on this I'm coming in uh, to provide some support on it all right so here's our main control panel uh, this right, see right here is our solenoid or our makeup valve so this is the fuse blowing so you've got your 460 coming in this is our 120 control circuit this is what we're trying to determine um, which you can see a lot of rusting. There's some heavy corrosion and our makeup valve is right here. Uh, this is the, uh, the probe style. So our probes are back over there, I believe, or they may be right here. We gotta find, yeah, they're back on the other side. So there's a set of probes sticks down in the water. Let me see if I can show you one. So I can't get in the tower right now, but it'll look very similar to this. And so it'll have some rods sticking out the, the bottom, but it's up in the tower. And as it makes contacts with the different rods, it you know, trips the signal back to the control boards. And then as it comes here, you know, it triggers the, you can see, actually see it right there. It gives a signal for makeup on, makeup off, high water, low water, all the good stuff there. And then it outputs that to, the according relay and turn the heaters and stuff on you've got your temp sensor there for that um, yeah it's a nice little system it works so a quick synopsis on this control uh, we're feeding power uh, from our 120 input over to the three and four terminals here these three and four they go up to the uh, um, makeup relay circuit up here so on the top side we've got our makeup water off and on with a common in the middle and then the uh, left side here is what's activating the coil itself so uh, one side comes in from the jumper the other side goes out to the coil uh, to feed it power and then our neutrals tied in back here on terminal two you can see all that right here too you know uh, terminals three or four makeup water one two is main 120 and there's your control relay circuit. So one trouble we're having right now is this wire is uh, not fitting these tiny little terminals very well together. Uh, he's having a lot of issues with it. Uh, this panel is dead right now, but so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna snip a piece of this extra and pull that out with a wire nut and that'll make this a better connection, make it a safer connection long-term too, because once you get these in there, you try to tighten it down, they, they slip out way too easy. All right, about to power this up, get our 120 to it. It's got the tiny needle leads. But right now our water level is low. Uh, you can see down in there where we should be calling for makeup. I can test it once he powers it up and see what our voltages are doing. Fired up? Nope. He said grab beer first. So I figured yeah. you wanted to miss it. Something. No, no. I wanted to see the the voltage. Alright. Got one twenty, I just heard relay start to click we don't have power across the so we should be able to go to neutral and four all right so we are telling the makeup to engage right now so we should be flowing water Oy. negative is it working? It sounds like it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, she's pulling. I no trip fuses. I wired that thing up exactly like this yesterday. 
Exactly like it, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Bam, that's it. Okay, so we started chattering. It's not a hard failure, whatever it is. Well, when I first got here, as soon as you turn this on, you pop that fuse. And I think that's because of how they had it wired in there. Okay. Since so change things. And the only thing you had overnight was the uh, the makeup solenoid was not wired in, or it didn't have power wired to it. Yeah. But you said we were running fan all night. It was running when I got here. I turned it off. Okay. Okay, well, let's then, yeah, let's dive into that solenoid a little deeper. Uh, have you megged this out? Any of this circuit? Megged it? Yeah. No. So that's what I'm coming to. Uh, once the load's put on it, and we're, we're pulling amps through it, uh, and it's got voltage applied, we end up, I wonder if there's a short. My thoughts are, we isolate it over there because the only actual load on that controller is this valve. Everything else are just sensors or relays. Um, so I'm wondering, we need to pull the 120 and the because I don't want to. I don't want to put. You want to pull these two wires on that end. Right, I want to test these two. I also want to test these, which means we need to disconnect them from that end. We need to disconnect them from that end. And then we can, uh, we'll pull them off of the coil. And then we can put uh, 250 volts to the wiring just by itself and see if anything is having an insulation short to ground. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead and just do that. Because you've already tested the coil and it comes on, it works short of a intermittent something in the coil uh That's it's only short down at our level sensor as well possible but the level sensor is it's gonna open and close that relay but we're not passing 120 through it no so no, it's it's stepping like 12 volts through it or something like that Right, it's stepping down through that that um, that rectifier in there, so. Uh, right, so pull those. Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's kill power again. My little wrench. We're up there. All right, so that'll isolate everything from over here. Do so we, we don't. We don't. We don't want any of these touching anything, so what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to test each individual strand with a megger to ground and see if one of these maybe has a weak point somewhere in it. That's what I got a feeling's going on here. We got just one of these wires is ain't jiving. More than likely it's probably this makeup feed being the fact it's only when the makeup comes on and it's just for when it comes on for a few minutes and then just bam. So maybe even if it's an intermittent short somewhere, uh, it's something along those lines. All right, there's our ground. So we'll start with this one. Let's make sure we're not touching anything about it. Lick your finger and touch it. Oh, I popped my button off. Got a good ground. Okay, that wire is coming back clean. How do you tell? So, when I engage it, I want to see it go above. So, I, this meter will read up to 2 billion ohms. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Okay, so it's at what, 1 mega ohm? It's above 1, or it's above 2 billion, meaning it's above okay. range. I can't read it anymore. So, that wire is good? Yep. That's what I want to see. So then we can test this neutral. Same thing. Now we're going to give it a second. Make sure it doesn't heat up and, and start coming down. Okay, so to our controller, we're good. 
looks like it, which is what we've seen. Right? You can power the controller without any issue. So, land those now or don't land? No, don't look, go ahead and leave them loose. We'll come over here. Uh, we'll use this as a ground that point. That works. I can get the ground there. So, next we'll try this neutral. Make sure we're not. Oh, I guess it don't matter if the black wire is such a big issue. That neutral shows good. Okay. Now, we'll do this one. Bam. Shorter. So let's go make sure. We're not touching. We're going to leave that there. Oop. Yep. That labeled wire is your one. Yep. Okay, that's your short. I have never seen anyone use a megger on anything but a compressor. Yeah? Oh yeah, no, absolutely. So, meggers are fantastic. They're good for motors, but they're also good for lines. So we could, so we'll switch over. Your meter didn't show anything. Let's see if this one does. It may or may not. Yeah, see, I'm in 2000 ohm scale. I'm above 2000 ohms. But my problem is, this is only outputting maybe five volts DC. Yeah. Right? So in your meter, well, we can test it. Let's see. So you're only outputting three volts. I'm doing probably three to five with this. And, uh, yeah, so you put it under a load. right. You got to get enough, enough put, you know, voltage on there to, to excite it enough to penetrate the, the, the insulation. So you should be able to just repull this one black wire and you'll be good. This point is fairly simple. Repull the new wire. We're gonna go ahead and pull the, uh, the hot leg for the solenoid and the, uh, the, the neutral for it. Both of them look pretty rough. They're pretty rough condition. They're just 16 gauge stranded, so it's nothing special. And it's only going from that one box over to the control box. So it's gonna be real simple, real straightforward. Uh, and, and yeah, the, the problem is reading it with a regular meter, not enough voltage put to it, can't penetrate the insulation. Put a mega to it, we see right through it, we see, and it's an obvious ground at that point. Every other wire tested perfectly fine, so only, you know, and which, which is what we expected, right? So in starting to do that test, given the symptoms, you know, everything was fine until the solenoid got activated, but testing the solenoid, you know, uh, it, it, you almost want to automatically condemn it because, well, you just, it tests good, the coil ohms out good, but uh, and nothing's showing ground, but yet it trips every time. There's gotta be something intermittent with the coil. That would be a really easy thing to fall into. Uh, thankfully, we didn't, we persevered. Something's going on here. We gotta make this make sense somehow. Let's not just give a random diagnosis just to give one and move on. Let's get the correct thing up front. Hence the megger. Uh, so yeah. If you're looking for a good entry level mega or something of that sort, I do highly recommend the Klein one. It's one I've been looking at investing in for myself. This old cheap Vicky is done great for me. It's something I bought off Amazon a long time ago. Uh, it's, it's not one I would, I, because Klein has come out with theirs since then, I, it, today I would just buy the Klein. It's a good budget option. Either way, um, hope you enjoyed it. See you around.